Hey guys, it's Rudy from EDC Chronicles here. Welcome back to my channel. Wait, wait, wait. Don't skip this intro. You need to hear this. As EDC enthusiasts, as I know we all are, constantly having tools in our pockets pretty much makes us good with our hands. So if we're good with our hands, when something breaks around the house, we fix it. Or when the neighbors need help, we offer it. I put together 10 essential tools that we should have in our house at all times. Or we can take it along with us in our trucks, or cars, or SUV, whatever you guys drive. So here they are, a screwdriver set. A screwdriver set typically includes different size and types of screwdrivers, such as flathead and Phillips head. Whether you're assembling furniture, fixing loose screws, or working on electronics, having a reliable set of screwdrivers with different size and shape is crucial. They'll help you tackle any screw related tasks with ease. The set I decided to go with is from Milwaukee. They're a ratchet screwdriver. They come with a 14 in one and an eight in one. The only difference between the two, this one is small and compact. This one is a little bit bigger, but you can switch these handles out. If you're in tight space and you only have this big one, you can put them in as so. Or if you only have this one, you can switch them out and then you have a longer bit on the end. And the difference with them is one comes with more bits than the other one. You get your standard bit, star point bit. It's a bunch of different options for you and they're ratchet. So you can move forward, you can go backwards, whatever task you're doing, driving in screws, taking out screws. These ratchet screwdrivers are the perfect little screwdriver for your at home need and their reasonable price. So you can't go wrong there with these screwdriver at all. Great option to have at home. Just another look at them. Rubber handles, nice grip, feels good in your hands. Perfect set of screwdriver for you guys. Next up, we have the Mighty Hammer. This versatile tool is a staple in any toolbox. From driving nails in the walls to removing stubborn ones, the hammer is a true workhorse that you'll find yourself reaching for time and time again. There's a variety of hammers you guys can choose from out there, but you can't go wrong with an e-swing hammer. I normally choose a 25 ounce, which is perfect for me. I've grown up with a dad in construction, so been around hammers, bring around a lot of tools. So I always try to have a hammer in my tools kit. Moving on, we have the pliers. They come in various types, each designed for a specific task. Pliers provide a secure grip and an excellent leverage, making them indispensable for wire bending, cutting, and holding small objects securely. Or if you're on a camping trip, it can definitely hold your hot pot if you forgot your pot holders. So the pliers can be used for a variety of tasks. And when it comes to choosing any tool, I like to do reviews and just go and check what are the best options. If you're looking for good tools, you're either gonna be Milwaukee, Bosch, Erwin when it comes to pliers. Now let's talk about the adjustable wrench. It's adjustable jaw lets you work with nuts and bolts of different size. Whether you're fixing a leaky pipe or tightening a loose fitting, this wrench is your go-to. Again, there's so many different ones you can choose from. I prefer just a regular old adjustable wrench, or some people call it a crescent wrench as well. Again, whichever one you choose is up to you guys, but I think having a crescent wrench or adjustable wrench at your house, you can't go wrong there. Next up is a tape measure. We all have been there putting a picture frame on your walls or we want to measure something at home and we don't have a measurement tape. A measuring tape is always, always a good tool to have in your disposal. So accurate measurements are key to any project. And a trusty tape measure, ensure you'll get them right every single time. Look for one that offers both metric and imperial measurements for additional convenience. Or you can do the digital one, one that has a laser. Whichever one you choose, you can't go wrong with having a measuring tape in your toolbox. And one of my favorite, the utility knife, also known as the box cutter. Opening packages, cutting materials, or performing precise cuts, this retractable blade tool is your best friend. They come in all different shapes and size. My go-to is the Milwaukee Fastback. There's three different types that I like. I like the Compact, I like the 1502, I like the 1505. I carry this thing around me at work every single day. The 
press stop to open, press stop to close. Blades can quickly be interchanged. Just pop the tab right here, switch them out. If you need to put it back in, clicks, that's it. Has a nice little wire pocket clip. They're indestructible. This is the 1500. You can't really go wrong there with this bad boy at all. Has a little carabiner holder there so you can um, put a linear on it if you need to. But this little compact tool is a tank. And then next up that I like to carry as well is the Milwaukee. And this one is the 1502 wire clip. Has a cord cutter. You can put your carabiner holder so you can put your linear to it. Again, press stop to open, press stop to close. Whichever one you guys choose. This one actually have a scriber here. So if you're ever marking drywall, you want to make a marker and then into something, you can use this side of the knife to make that indentation or that scratch that you need to make. It also holds five extra blade right there in that little pouch. They come out easily, just slides out, slide back in. You can slide this one out, slide the old one back in its place. And that's it right there for the Milwaukee 1502. And then one that I really like is the Milwaukee Fast Track 1505. So this one has a screwdriver bit on the end. So it flips open and there's a little tab. You can lock it back and it flips back down. But you're, you can interchange your bits like so. Put it back in if you're using Phillips or if you're using standard. Put back them in and then that's it for... The screwdriver, it has a carabiner holder as well, so you can put your linear to it. Has a bottle opener on the tip. Flip to open, flip to close. You can store one extra blade in here. You guys see I have it right there. So this little tab here, you can just um, pull that forward. The blade comes right out or slips right back in, whatever you guys choose. That's it there for that extra blade. Oh, let's put this back in. There you go, that's in. It also have the scriber here. If you guys need to mark drywall, you got that there too. And it actually has a little, if you guys can see, cord cutter on the end as well so this one is the fastback 1501 or they call it their six in one tool with a nice little wire pocket clip they fit pretty well in your pocket they sit pretty deep so i really like these three particular milwaukee utility knife or as people call it box cutter so when it comes to utility knife just remember to handle with caution and always retract your blade when not in use. Speaking of use, why don't you guys use your hands and move that pointer over to the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys. And the next item in our list is a level. So let's explore the level a little bit. Hanging shelf, aligning pictures, or ensuring a surface is perfectly straight. A level is your trusty companion for all these tasks. It has a bubble vial to help you achieve that perfect balance. I even use mines to draw straight lines whenever I need them. So you can use a level for a variety of tasks. You can have a small compact level, or you can have a five feet, six feet, whichever level you choose. I just normally keep a two feet level with me at all times. And the next tool is a compact drill. There's so many out there you can choose from. Bosch, Milwaukee, Makita, Ryobi, just to name a few. But I normally go with Milwaukee. I'm just a huge Milwaukee fan. So mine is always going to be an impact or just a regular driver, which are, you guys can choose either one. Impact, you have more rotation, you have more power, but they're making the regular compact drill so good now. Whichever one you choose, 
is going to be perfect for your day-to-day -day task at home. And you guys don't have to get Milwaukee. That's just what I prefer. They're a little bit more on the pricier side. But, you know, if you're just doing stuff at home, Ryobi works just fine. So whether you're drilling holes or driving screws, a versatile tool gets the job done and a variety of drill bits and screwdriver bits for additional flexibility. There's so many to choose from, like I said before, but just try to choose one from a reputable source. And our next tool is a hacksaw. For cutting through metal, plastic, or wood, we have a hacksaw. It's ideal for various tasks like trimming metals, cutting metal pipe, or handling small scale cutting jobs. It's fine tooth blade and sturdy frame makes it a reliable tool. And I gotta say, if I'm not using a hacksaw, I normally just use my, my multi-tool. Cause with my multi-tool, I can interchange the blades, I can cut you pipe, I can cut you metal. So if you're in an area where you can use your multi-tool, I use my multi-tool, but I also make sure I have a hacksaw with me as well. Can't go wrong with either one. I like to work smarter, not harder, so. Having a reliable multi-tool is always good as well. So last but not least, an organized toolbox. Keep all your tools in one place, ensuring easy access. It also ensures that your kids don't grab them and take them all over the house and then you don't know where they are. Choose a sturdy one, one with compartments or trays to keep your tools secure and ready for action. I have a Milwaukee one as well but I also have a rigid. So whichever one you guys choose from, I prefer one with wheels that I can wheel in my truck, you know, and wheel out of my truck and it's easy to drag around instead of carry around. Or you can, guys can choose a little one too. It don't matter whichever one you choose, as long as you have your tools organized in a place where you can readily access them and take them with you or you just have them in your house if you ever need them, you know? So there you have it, guys. Our introduction to the 10 essential tool I think every EDC enthusiast should have in their home or in their possession. You can keep it in your home, keep it in your truck. Homeowner, renter, RVer, whichever one you are, I think these tools will empower you guys. So from somebody that's been around the block a couple of times, I think that having these 10 tools will make your life a lot easier. And you guys are good with your hands, so I know you guys can use all these tools that I've mentioned. If you like this video, just hit that like and subscribe, guys. Thank you for tuning in.